So yeah, we're gonna marry the wizard. Uh, he obviously, he is a real character in the normal game, but um, you can't marry him. You know, he's normally, he's a pretty cool guy. He ruined Pierre's life. So, you know, he's always gonna be in my good books, but he's also just kind of an interesting guy. Like we don't know a lot about him. The witch, we know about the witch, but what does that even mean? You wish it was Lewis? I haven't even found, um, I haven't found like a full Lewis marriage mod, but I actually really want to, I'm not gonna lie. All the people want to fix Shane because we can't marry the wizard, true. Everyone just wants the purple-haired guys. Exactly. I guess let's head on over and give him the gift. Wait, am I seriously gonna have to... I have to do the community center cutscene? <laughs> Damn, okay. All right, I'll go do that. Fine. Who the hell is this? I've never played Star Galaxy Expanded, or it's been a while. Claire. Yeah, I haven't seen you either. There's the woman at the till at Joja. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's cool. I think I have something for purple hair since Abigail's my first love. Damn, dude. Maybe the wizard is perfect for you, too. Uh, his real name is Rasmodius, I believe. Rasmodius? True. I, whenever I go on stream, just the brain turns off. I literally just forget what I have to do. Thankfully, the chat is here to carry me because I'm not the brightest. Okay, guys. I have not watched this cutscene in a long time. Should we watch it? Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> Most of you guys have seen this one, but I have not seen it in a long time. Okay. Ah, come in. I'm, oh, Magnus Rasmodius, Seeker of the Arcane Truth. There's his full name, if you guys are curious. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred, ch you get the point. Okay, good. He knows when to, he knows when to stop. He knows when to shut up. <laughs> and you, Gug, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Damn. Here, I'd like to show you something. Okay, let's see. Behold! What the? What the Junimo? There he is. He's just hanging out. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason. They refuse to speak with me. Also, I need to get some music going, otherwise it's just an awkward way. Uh... Okay, mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason. They refuse to speak to me. I'm not sure why they've moved in the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm? You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm gonna see for myself. I'll return shortly. Damn. He's going. That is cool. There are so many problems he could just fix, and he, like, just doesn't. That's so odd. He He's magic. What the? The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junmas, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, we will we'll see the true nature of this scroll. He's just like your dad. Did he disappear? <laughs> Damn. Better dad than Pierre could ever be. Damn. Holy smokes. Aha. Okay, you know what? I've seen this cutscene enough times. Well, I'm not gonna skip it. Nope. Don't skip it. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel, top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. I don't know if I trust this guy. W okay, would you guys drink this? Would you accept it? Be honest. Would, would you accept the beverage? I, I don't know if I would. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Also, that is a bug. <laughs> that is not meant to be there. I've drank worse. Damn. Wow. I can decipher the forest magic. And now he just kicked me out. That's cool. Let's go say hi to him. Ooh, a new room. Can we go out in here? <gasps> Another cutscene, guys. Ooh. The room is filled with magical books. Yeah, I can see that. That's a cool looking shelf. You grab a book and start reading the contents. I'm not going to be able to understand it, am I? Oh. He knows. What are you doing? I only allow those who I like, trust down here. Hmm, the book in your hand is over 100 years old. It outlines the magical properties of a number of mystical plants. Recently, I was fortunate enough to obtain several seeds of ancient fruit, previously believed to be long extinct, and I'm cultivating them outside. He should give me one. Why do I have to find one? The world holds countless mysteries waiting to be discovered and studied. Our knowledge of some of these mysteries has been passed down among magical practitioners through these books for many generations. Visitors from the town here are rare, and not one of them is drawn to my books. I mean, to be fair, I feel like not a lot of people are going to be like going into someone's house and walking down to the basement first thing they do. If you choose not to pursue deeper arcane knowledge, I'd be delighted to assist. Oh, wow. He's taking a liking to me. Holy smokes. I'm already in his good books. Razzy Raz. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> Perhaps someday I'll teach you some light magic, such as changing your appearance. No way. Basement reference. Let's go. I grant you permission to enter my basement. <laughs> 
I only ask you to stay from the Shrine of Illusions and the Warp Hall. Others than those restrictions, browse any books in my collection that may interest you. Don't crack them open too far, it's good crack the spine. Some of these books are nearly 100 years old. Old. Oh my god, you would not trust me that in real life. I would 100% accidentally crack one of the spines. <laughs> A hundred percent. I would do it immediately. Okay, well, he said not to go down here. Let's check him out. Not in use. Okay, guys, we got to figure this out. What's that? Oh, that's, um, the last part is witch hut. What's the first part? I'm not sure. First slash guild hall. None of them work. Bummer. Castle village guild hall. Frangel Republic Ministry of Magic. Ooh. Is it going to let me just like, can I use this or is it like actually not going to let me? I think it's probably not going to let me. Told not to, yeah, whatever. My character's a goody two shoes. You and the wizard's child would be Abigail's half sibling. What would happen if you have kid, divorce the wizard, and marry Abigail? Um, oh god, I've never understood all that. I've never got like the cousin second attached, all that. <laughs> oh man. Well, let's get this guy a mushroom, eh? Well, I guess he has a heart now. <laughs> cool. Okay, well. That's interesting. I feel like, okay, maybe it's just me personally. If someone just like walked into my basement and like started looking at all my random, if I was a magical person in this, in this hypothetical, I feel like I'd be a lot more upset that he was down there. But I guess then again, maybe if I like didn't have anyone to talk about it with, you know, I'd be more open to it. When's the wizard's birthday anyways? Maybe he knows we're destined, true. <laughs> do I have a second channel? I do. I don't really upload on it that much though. I think I'm just gonna start like checking out random games I think look interesting and just uploading the stuff there. You lay down on the path and your farm is I just put it down. Just to clear a nice path for myself. Oh, cutscene. What the? Already? That is odd. So many cutscenes I know, right? Here we go. Ah, Gug. I fo foresaw your coming today. Please join me. How goes your quest with the Junimos, hmm? It's going great, huh? Uh, it's going. What are we feeling? In reality, on this save, we've done literally nothing. But I don't know. How do we answer this? What are, what are we feeling? Great. We just lie to his face, even though we've donated nothing. It's going. That's kind of what I'm feeling. That's probably my real... That would probably be my real answer. It's going great. Yeah, let's lie to his face. Let's build some trust right off the bat. <laughs> Excellent. You've been chosen for an important task, Gug. Do not falter. Damn, okay, no pressure. Holy. Here, I have something for you. A lesson in the pervasive energies of the world. Come closer. I'm surprised I didn't hesitate. See this symbol here? This is a gate, a portal to another world, a doorway through which an elemental can traverse or a window through which I can peer. I feel like I shouldn't be standing on it then. Don't you think, guys? Probably shouldn't be standing on the portal, eh? What do I know? I'm not a magic guy. Have you ever encountered an elemental? You mean those blue squishy things in the mine? That would be a slime. <laughs> oh no. I'm looking like an idiot in front of Phrasmodius. No, that's so unlucky. I should have lied. You're right. I should have lied. No, now I look like a bozo. Whatever. Elementals are a sort of spirit composed of the most pure building blocks of our universe. They're really seen by the common human. They only show themselves only to the truly special. Some, like myself, are fortunate enough to seek and find them, eventually forming a bond of sorts. Start the day over? No. <laughs> it's rare to see that you have encountered in the town are not elemental. Something more derivative and simplistic, though still interesting nonetheless. I believe it is safe to say they have taken an interest in your fate. Whatever spirit takes interest, so must we all. Fake it till you make it true. Perhaps someday will attract greater attention. Until then, serve the world, Gug. Be at peace. Wait, am I not cool enough? Do I just like suck and he hates me? Man. I think spirits are something completely different. I hope I... What I've said doesn't get to your head. Pride easily maneuvers you off the wise path. My taking a clear head is a crucial for the path ahead of you, farmer. Now I'm really curious. Okay, has anyone who played through this mod? Is there like different dialogue if you choose yes? Because I'm worried I'm like missing dialogue. I just want to break all the stupid grass. I feel like I'm not missing dialogue. No. Normally there's it doesn't change the cutscene. Like it, it might change like one or two lines of dialogue, but normally it doesn't. Yeah, there's no dialogue. I have never played this mod in my life. Thank you, chatter. How many hearts? Let's see. One and a half. Nice. Magic and starter would be super cool. I remember I tried out the magic mod one time and it was a badass. That video is probably like almost a year ago at this point. That's crazy to think about. I still remember the night I, or the day I released it. Am I going to cheat the wood? Maybe. Haven't decided. Ooh, let's pick up the dandelion. 7 XP. Huge. There really is a lot of cutscenes. Yeah, for real. Heaps of cutscenes. Flower unloved but well liked has no true purpose. It sings the blues indeed. Embrace the mysteries of the day. Huh. Maybe if I leave and re-enter, I'll get another cutscene. Oh. Oh! No way! Speak of the devil! Guys, <laughs> another cutscene? What? Okay, so we're walking into a mysterious clearing. He's casting spells and whatnot. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What are you doing? And he responds with silence. One moment. I must assess the strength of this barrier. <laughs> 
Looks like he's hitting a dance move or something. It should hold steady for another six seasons. Wait, that's kind of worrying. That's like a month. That's like a year and a half away. That's like pretty close. <laughs> hmm. I see. Let me explain. Yeah, please do, buddy. I'll serve it often seems tranquil. Monsters do lurk in the darker corners, particularly deep in the woods. West of my tower, there are dangerous slimes that attack any human they see. As the resident magic practitioner of Stardew Valley and Pelican Town, it is my responsibility to maintain the magical barrier that prevents the monsters from attacking? What? When a witcher wizard chooses their home, they also swear to protect the residents of that home. Kamala, the wizard of Castle Village, is exceptionally talented. She leads the vanguard, the vanguard fighting off the hordes of monsters in Galdora. Barrier she oversees is largest in the world and requires an immense amount of mana to maintain. My apologies, Gug. I must attend to a council meeting. Shows up, speaks nonsense, proceeds to leave instantly. <laughs> Giga chat. I mean, he's doing kind of a bad job. Community center is in ruin. He's not protecting it super well. Freak this guy. Speaking in riddles, yeah. Bro is incoherent. Okay, maybe not incoherent. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Red flags, <laughs> you think? You think it's red flags? Maybe. The incoherent Riz. The best kind of Riz. He's so me. <laughs> True. <laughs> I think he just says stuff to sound smart half the time. Says IQ. <laughs> The Rizard indeed. Willie wouldn't do that? Yeah, true. Willie's a real one. He wouldn't he would make sense probably. He he would not let not being coherent slide, in my opinion. Okay, and then once as soon as we give Oh my god, you're right. The inside of the hut looks so nice. I love the little glowing. Okay. Okay, guys, place your bets. Will he make sense today? Someday I hope to record all my findings into a book bound with leaves of the eternity tree. Then all of them will be saved forever. Well, then I could lose it all. And what a terrible fate that would be. Have a good day. Learn something new. Interesting. Okay, that does make sense. Cool, cool, cool. He said a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> He's so right for that. Now we must make our way to the mountain. We ain't learning nothing from him. Uh, you know, I've learned a lot. I have not learned a lot. That is a lie. <laughs> Answer me three whittles and, uh, riddles and I'll let you marry me. <laughs> True. He's just trying to impress me. True, true. He he just wants me that bad, you know? All right. Cutscene. No, this is not a Linus one. I double checked. But we are approaching Linus. What do we want with Linus? Gug, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. The wizard could and will stalk me. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Or maybe this is, is a Linus cutscene. I don't, I'm not familiar with his cutscenes. Oh, yo, what are the sound effects? <laughs> this is a Linus cutscene? Oh, whoops, I'll skip then. This is the one we want. Okay. My bad. Thanks, guys. The river rages with possibilities. More than usual. <laughs> okay, guys, ignore the sound effects, please. <laughs> moving onward, moving swiftly onwards. <laughs> Indeed, as a tangled tapestry we weave to follow a single thread. Impossible. Especially when someone is playing with the strings, hmm? Ah, so you might have noticed as well. I might have guessed. Hard not to notice. And it seems that fate too takes notice on this day. Come closer, Gug. There's no need for you to hide amongst the bushes. I think I should hustle a little bit more. We're just speaking of you. It's rude to talk about people behind their backs. Er, erm, you were? Dot, 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 dot. Okay, what do I say, guys? I'm kind of, I might be leaning towards the erm, erm, you were? It seems that I'm not the only one who's noticed the way the energy swirl about you. Though we may not be the master of elementals, Linus is perspicuous enough to sense the truth without divining. Unlike most mundane folk in this valley, you hold fate in your hands, Gug. What will you do with it? Is this like a hypothetical? Restore the natural order of the world? What? I don't want anything to do with it. Extort it for my own gain? What are we feeling? I think my genuine answer would be probably two, but I feel like the answer he wants is one. Lie to his face? Yeah, we're gonna go with one. We'll stick with the with the line to his face. Oh, we're fooling him big time. He doesn't have a clue. Yes, I sense you might say that. The spirits have chosen well. I trust you will do great things. Soon the tides will turn, and if you're not vigilant, the delicate balance may fall. Be prepared. Until then, seek the energies, Gug. We will meet again. Definitely gained a lot from that interaction. I bet the wizard carries around a dictionary to speak in big words because it's cool. He's the type of guy for sure. For sure he's the type of guy to do that. Well, let's go back to the tower. Hopefully he's hanging out there. He should be. Type of guy to say preposterous. That is actually kind of fun to say. Mary Poppins up in here. True. <laughs> How many hearts? Three. I'm just gonna double gift them, get them up to four hearts. And then we need to head home. And I think we should get a letter. If I'm understanding correctly, he's gonna mail us. Oh yeah, here we go. I've proven your trustworthiness. I would like to propose I teach you some basic magic visiting in the chamber at your earliest conveniences. Guys, we're gonna learn magic, no way. That's actually ginormous. Just got here, what's happening? We're about to learn magic from the wizard. All right, here we go. It's magic time. Just a moment. He's just hanging. Hmm? 
I'm gathering herbs for an elixir. Heh. <laughs> Have no fear, Gug. You have my assurance that it won't be harsh as the first one you drink. Come, join me at the cauldron. One final touch. The elixir is complete. Uh-oh, more flashing. The elixir tastes like cotton candy, so what, like just like liquid sugar? Good, now you're ready to join me downstairs in my study. Okay, let's do it. Oh damn, I even get to choose? Firstly, a demonstration. What the? He's purple. I mean pink. What, what, what? Rasmonis, what kind of hair do I propose? Do you propose I change? What? Ain't no way. I'm the default farmer. Can I go back, please? Oh, thank God I can. Most impressive. Perhaps in the future I'll teach you some more spells. Let's go. Your aptitude is as high as it seems. We may even be able to explore some higher theory about the governing laws that bind our world. Glad to see the prospect excites you. What happens if someone made their skin default farmer from the beginning? Good question. I wonder what it would do. I can now use the Shrine of Illusions. Wow. That was a badass cutscene. All right, five hearts. The next cutscene we need. Cinderstep Forest, 6 to 6 p.m., only sunny weather. All right, perfect. So if we head out, we should just get another cutscene straight away. Already less creepy than Clint? That's not a super high bar, though, to be fair. Rizmodi is the type of guy to use the word phenomenal tracopic sylvicolvanicolmesis. I feel like everyone's wanted to marry, like, a non-romanceful character at some point. Honestly, like, it's it's just inevitable. The guild master? True. Shout out him. Why am I not getting any cutscenes? So weird. <laughs> here we go. All right. Here he is. He's ancient fruiting up. Ah, Gug. Nice of you to drop by. Sandy, to be honest. Robin? Yeah, Robin's the classic. There's been a recent influx of locusts in the forest, and I'm just adding some extra magical protection to make sure they don't come after my fruit. More efficient than your typical pesticides. I always have to keep a layer of magical protection on these plants anyways. My ex-wife hated them. Said they were a sign I was growing soft. What? What does that even mean? Actually, she still occasionally tries to lay the odd hex or two on them when she's flying at night. What? Oh my god, yeah, Leah's hanging out. One of the reasons that Caroline and Ah, uh, she has a lovely sunroom, you see. Ah, uh, well. Yo, are we getting some lore about where Abigail was conceived? <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to grow ancient fruit? Apparently. It's difficult, you know. I enjoy the solitude of the forest out here in the forest, and I enjoy the work I do, protecting the valley. But even a wizard gets disheartened at having his heart broken twice. Well, I'm not in a hurry to give it a third try, but if I do happen to fall in love with someone again, I believe it'll be someone who appreciates a good garden. Wow, real subtle. Real subtle, buddy. My farm has an awful lot of plants. Oh, that's where it is. We're dealing with that one. Ha! I suppose you're right. But remember, even once you get past the plants, there's the smell of the cauldron. I have some business I need to attend to now that these plants are adequately protected. Enjoy the rest of your time in the forest, and do stop by to see me again soon. He's out. He gone. Oh, another cutscene. Hello? Is someone there? Is she blind? He's right there. Oh, you scared me. You're the one who lives in the tower, aren't you? Oh, and I, I'm the creepy one signing the bushes now. Channeling my inner Clint. Um, oh, he's... What are you doing? How is it suspended as a pendulum? What? What is fracturing? What is bro talking about? The actually the incoherent Riz. What is up? Is he is he trying to to Riz Leah? What? Or is he just trying to be friends? Oh, I'm pulling up. <laughs> Gug, thank goodness. This guy just walked out of the trees over there. I think he's speaking in tongues. It's really freaking me out. She says directly to his face. Gug, what is trembling? Uh, what? Have you been studying slang again? Cut it out. You're scaring Leah! I feel like the second one. Indeed, I have had an eye-opening experience with a modern invention called the television. <laughs> Just had to apply my newly learned phrases in casual conversation in an effort to form new connections with the people of this town. How did I fare? Honestly, <laughs> that was terrible. Just stick with the spirits. Well, you, uh, you did good. It's a good start, but I think you should practice with someone who knows what they're doing. What is trembling? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lie to his face. Hmm, perhaps you are right. You're really trying to ask what's up? Indeed. Why not just say that? Yeah, kind of. he's kind of right. Did I not? Is bro stupid? Perhaps I require more practice? Go, you seem to have a strong understanding of these matters. Would you be willing to teach me your ways? I'm not really very good at it. Maybe you should ask someone else. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Yeah, we're doing that one. Not even asking you guys. Truly? <clears throat> this pleases me greatly. I look forward to our future encounters, man. He's always professional. I offer apologies, young Leah. When next we meet, I hope to be more adept in the ways of mortal communication. Until then, Gug, Leah, embrace the mysteries of the day. Learn something new. How's it supposed to be a pendulum? Because a pendulum, like, shakes. Well, that was weird. <sighs>
Oh, he doesn't make a habit of sneaking up on people and shouting, what is up? Canis Lupus Familiaris. Wow, that was the lamest joke ever. I think I want he, I think I want the wizard to come back. Jesus, I think I have to divorce Leah. Actually, I hope he does. Just prompt him to take some pictures when it happens. Leah, you're kind of pissing me off in this mod. I'm not gonna lie. What is she on about? Okay, so we're at almost seven hearts. We're getting close. Nice. Uh, yeah, you said I'm trying. Joys of Mysterials power. Fragile lance must appear state. When it does appear, it can resonate through the ages. If that same joy can become corrupted over time, it must be protected. Be enchanted. Be at peace. Oh, bro is gone. Ain't no way. This guy talks and my brain breaks, Drew. I'm actually snapping a pic of that empty portrait. Seven hearts. All right. So if we just leave and go back in. Cutscene. Oh my god. Bro bro's getting jumped by the Junibums. <laughs> what? He's getting jumped by the Junimas. Ain't no way. Wizard. Ras Rasmadios. Magic. I'm trying to cast them on communion more with the spirits of forest and ow! He seems to have stopped that. He seems to have backfired somewhat. Gug, would you be so kind as to arg as to pick up that spellbook and read the three lines on the bottom of page 53? Holy smokes, I am not hustling. I literally don't care. I'm like walking at like a jovial pace. Aww. Now, little one, tell us, which part of the forest you hail from? Oh, okay. The jewel tells you and Rosemarius about its home in a distant part of the forest for a little while. The wizard is especially interested in hearing about the lines of power near their home. Eventually, the Jun resides at home and Rasmari dismisses it with another spell. Now that's all taken care of. Tell me the truth. Was I wholly undignified? Were you tempted to laugh? Never crossed my mind. To be honest, yes, absolutely. What are we feeling, guys? All right, yeah, we're, we're gonna be honest for once. Ah, uh, well, I appreciate your honesty, and it's fine. I want you to think I take myself too seriously. I'm sure I look very silly indeed. True, he's right, actually. Self-aware. He did look silly. Chuckles. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I think. In the future, instead of trying to summon the spirits to come, I should probably go into the forest and find them myself. Now that I've recovered a little, I believe I will do some exploring. Um, keep this one to yourself, will you? I do not wish to become too much of a laughing stock. Yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. Don't blame you indeed. Nice. Well, how close are we to eight hearts? Let me see. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna hit eight hearts now. There's no harm. We're progressing very fast. All right, cutscene. You guys ready? Seven ounces swamp moss, one crow feather. Solar essence. Ah. Oh, Gug. I do not hear you enter. You've caught me in the midst of some rather delicate work. I do not hear you enter. You've caught me in the midst of some rather delicate work. What are you working on? I find myself in need of a way to produce artificial energies for my own use. I, ah, uh, have not been sleeping lately. I hope to remedy that with this ritual, but I've only achieved frustration, as you might note. Tell me, Gug, what do you do when you cannot sleep? I never have that problem. A hard day's work tires me out. Count cheap. I was sleep sleeping back in line with the stars. Instead, it helps to remember where I am and where I came from. Honestly, in real life, it's one, but I think three goes harder. That is a nice segment. I fear thoughts of where I've come from only sabotage my efforts, however. Aw, man. So I'm doomed to toil until I succeed or fall into my own cauldron. What are we feeling, guys? Do we? I do literally don't even know what he's doing, to be honest. Don't do it. Don't. Huh? You wish for me to attempt to rest? Oh, very well, if I must. But know that I'll only be back at this as soon as you walk away. Don't let me dream. Uh, he fell asleep. Aww. Guys, that's such a wholesome cutscene. All right, let's see if he wants to start dating us. Am I right, guys? Ah, is this for me? Of course I feel the same. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> Yo, why did he turn pink? Oh, he's purple away. Again. The problems I slept surprisingly well, in fact. Despite that effect, I must apologize. I feel incredibly awkward for my behavior earlier. Appreciate it if you would leave me to recuperate from this embarrassment for a while. Sure thing, buddy. We have to go home and get a letter from him. Bro is bubblegum. Dating the wizard feels wrong. Why? Why is it wrong? I must apologize for the state which you found the other day. On occasion, I find my sleep plagued with dark dreams, and I childishly resort to avoiding my bed. It shames me to know you witnessed such favor for me. Nevertheless, I would like to thank you for choosing to stay with me. With you, I have slept soundly as I have not for several weeks. If I never pay you, you have but to ask. Sincerely, Magnus. Many untold wonders are sheltered amongst the trees. Today in particular, a strange energy stirs in the forest. If you'd like to learn heretophore unknown secret, meet me in the hidden woods north of my towers. Gotcha. All right. Before we do that, let's upgrade my house. So let's add 100K, some wood. Oh my God, this shop looks so awesome. Upgrade house. Now let's head over to the secret woods, am I right? Oh my God, we have to talk to this guy. Do not care. Leave me be. Cutscene. Oh my God, why does it look so cool? What the heck? Ah, Gug, you came. As you know, I've devoted much of my life to divination and communication with ill-understood life forms. As such, I've lost much of what comes naturally in human conversation. It's difficult for me to... Ah, how is it said? Oh, we step forward. Gug, listen. I'm listening. Open your mind. 
Open your senses. Can you hear it? My heart pounds in my chest more fiercely than I've ever known it to. The energies of the earth surge around us. It can be no accident. No, I've made no mistake. Even the trees can sense how I feel for you. I thought such a thing beyond the realm possibility after my ex-wife. Well, but never mind her. I care nothing about her now. I only care for you. I've enchant- you've enchanted me, Gug. Oh my god, he's pink again. Uh, sorry. I think you've made a mistake. No, I'm not even letting you guys choose that one. That'd be mean. Truly? Ahem. That is... Of course you do. Never was there a doubt in my mind. Okay, dude, shut up. No once did I worry you might. He was blushing when he turned spanky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh my god, they went for it. Oh, it's so wholesome. I feel like I'm intruding on the date for real. That as far as my conversation skills will carry us, I fear. But if you should like to stay a while, I might teach you to listen to the earth. Damn. I did mean what I wrote, you know, about untold secrets. Aww. Wow. Okay, this is totally unrelated. Let's check out the secret woods. Holy smokes. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Twelve stumps. That's insane. No, thirteen down there. Wow. Insane. Okay, well, um, I guess let's marry him, am I right, guys? Let's see if he's if he's down. I don't think he will be because my house isn't upgraded. No. Yeah, he hates me, whatever. Dress like Caroline and the witch for the for the wedding. True, I should. I wanna chuck on a witch's hat. That's what I'll do. We'll match him. There we go. <laughs> we're, we're gonna blend right in. He's gonna be like, what? There's two of me. No way. <laughs> was wondering who hid the secret statue in Vincent's room. How the heck did it fit in that box? That's actually weird. That's odd. Make my skin green. <laughs> sure. Love your videos. Thanks, man. Unrelated, but why is your alias Wally Gug? Typo of Waluigi. Green. I'm one with the forest now. Permanently. Forever. Oh, he's pink again. You truly wish? Unequivocally. Yes! Newly engaged couple. Oh my god, here it is. We've got the matching hats. Actually, no, the hats are slightly different. That's weird. When Gug first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew he'd fit in with our community. But we've, got, uh, we've all read the cutscene. Well, let's get right into it. It's Mary Pelican Town and Regional Bearer. The matrimonial seal, and I pronounce you well, husband and, well, husband. So, so romantic. Caroline is there too. That is kind of awkward for her. <laughs> oh my god, yay, we get a cat too. Hooray. Hooray. I did it. Amazing. Wow. But yeah, I'll see you guys some other time.